hey guys and welcome back to the channel so today's video is going to be all about dutch oven cooking so we do have the charcoal chimney going already these are uh hardwood briquettes all natural i also have the recently restored lodge number 12 dutch oven that i just uh, showcased in the channel and i'm going to be roasting a chicken in this as you can see i already diced up some potatoes and i did season my potatoes with kinder's all-purpose seasoning um, the chicken is actually seasoned with Weber's Kickin' Chicken. And I also added some chicken broth uh, to give it good moisture and uh, prevent it from drying out. And I also have it actually on a lodge trivet to prevent it from uh, burning or um, getting charred during the cooking process. So I also oiled the inside of my Dutch oven, including the lid. So stick around guys and you will see the process. So guys, I did do a ring of charcoal briquettes on the outside only and nothing in the center and that is to prevent any kind of burning or charring of the chicken since it sits really close to the lid. The other thing is that I did use a 4-in-1 tool from Lodge to lift up my Dutch oven and I loaded a good amount of charcoal underneath to get it going and get good heat. That way we can get good steaming inside the Dutch oven. The other thing that I'm doing is constantly moving around my Dutch oven, moving the Dutch oven base or the bottom itself one way and the lid the other and that's to prevent any kind of hot spots in case there are any. All right guys, so I didn't show the chicken breast that I just cooked, but I am uh, recording the potatoes that I'm gonna add to a chicken pot pie. I'm gonna do a chicken pot pie for my daughter. She loves those a lot. And I'm gonna be using a lodge number 10 dutch oven it is the wildlife series with the pheasant design all right guys so it's been about 40 to 50 minutes it has been doing really well and as i mentioned i've been you know moving around the uh, dutch oven to prevent any hot spots and uh, i'm going to be checking it soon i'm going to be using a probe thermometer to see where we're at and hopefully we're going to be done soon All right guys, so I think I'm gonna let that chicken cook a little bit longer, about 20 to 30 minutes more, uh, so we can get some crispy skin. So anyway, we're gonna move on and do the chicken pot pie filling. And as you can see here, I also have my Lodge Carbon Steel 15 inch dual handle pan skillet. I'm also gonna be using frozen veggies. Um, it's quick, it's easy, and I figured it'd be the best way to do it. Uh, and obviously you can use fresh vegetables and you can add honestly anything that you want to your chicken pot pie. But for me, I feel like this is a really good mix of vegetables. And uh, it is also, as I mentioned, for my daughter and uh, my wife and they like very simple ingredients. Also, I'm not going to be adding like uh, too much of, um, I guess you could say spices, um, just, you know, basic stuff, salt and pepper, uh, nothing too crazy. As I mentioned, they like plain and simple chicken pot pie. And uh, I'm also gonna be using olive oil. I, I like using olive oil for sauteing veggies. I feel like it's a little bit healthier than canola oil. Uh, the only time I use a, you know, like canola oil or the other high heat oils is for frying. But uh, other than that, guys, I, I saute my veggies with uh, olive oil. So as I mentioned, um, we're just gonna do salt and pepper, nothing too fancy here. But if you guys are looking for a recipe, I do recommend you guys check out other channels like uh, Cowboy Kent Rollins, uh, Joshua Wiseman, um, Natasha's Kitchen. There's just so many channels out there guys and uh, you know, they have a lot of great recipes. Backwoods Gourmet I think even has one as well. So 
anyway, um, I'm not going to focus too much on that, but we're going to go move on to the uh, to what I'm doing here. So as you can see, I added my shredded chicken along with the potatoes that I had cooked earlier. And uh, I, add, I add potatoes to my chicken pot pie. And you guys can add whatever you guys like to yours. Um, I, you know, I like mine a little hearty. And that, so that's why I like adding potatoes to my chicken pot pie. Um, and we're all, all I'm gonna do here is just um, make sure that everything warms up again and, and incorporates really well together once again. And we're gonna add some heavy whipping cream. Uh, I'm not gonna measure anything out, guys, as I mentioned. Um, it's just pretty much to the consistency that I'm looking for. And uh, we're also gonna use about a third cup of uh, flour. And you know, you gotta move it around, stir it around really well and incorporate everything together and uh, so far, I've been, you know, very happy with the way the uh, carbon steel skillets have been performing. Lodge actually produces a uh, very nice carbon steel skillets. I do like them a lot. I have actually their 15 inch dual handle pan. I have a number 12, a 10 and the eight. Um, and I don't really feature them on the channel, but if you guys want a video of pure carbon steel skillets or for me to do uh, reviews of other carbon steel skillets, I do have a debouillé. Um, it's a crepe uh, griddle, I guess you could say. And uh, I haven't really featured that one too much on the channel. I think I've used it maybe once or twice on the channel, but I love it. Um, I use it a lot for omelets. I use it a lot for for crepes and pancakes. So anyway, let me know if you guys wanna know more about some carbon steel skillets and leave it in the comments below. All right guys, so we're moving inside the house and as you can see, I have my two Dutch ovens here. I have my number eight, which I recently showcased on uh, my channel. And this actually, this Dutch oven was probably never used because it was never uh, seasoned. Um, and it was in the original box itself. So I was, you know, I'm very excited to use it. And uh, the one on the left is actually the number 10, which is the wildlife series uh, pheasant designed uh, Dutch oven number 10. So um, I was hoping that I was going to be able to make two chicken pot pies out of the filling. Uh, and once I placed everything in the number 10, I noticed that, well, it wasn't going to be that way. And I didn't have enough of my chicken pot pie filling to use both of these Dutch ovens. So then I was kind of disappointed because, as I mentioned, I wanted to use my number eight. So then I was thinking, what can I do? What else can I do? And uh, the, you know, the thing that came to mind was, well, I'm just going to make a dessert in the number eight. It's small enough to do a dessert. So we're gonna head that route and we're just gonna use the number 10 for the chicken pot pie. Now, I do wanna mention that this is the first time that I do a chicken pot pie in a Dutch oven. I've done it inside the house, in the oven, where it's, I wanna say, a little bit more controlled. You know, I, I know the amount of time, I know the heat, and uh, it's, I guess you could say, easier to, to do this. But when you're um, doing Dutch oven cooking, you're outside, it's, you know, and that day was really windy um, and we're using uh, the charcoal briquettes. So I kind of have to manage my heat. I have to move it around, make sure we don't have any hot spots. So for me, that's exciting to some other people. This might be annoying, but I, I do want to mention that Dutch oven cooking is probably my most favorite thing to do with cast iron. So I'm very happy and I'm looking forward to doing this. So, uh, you know, and, and see the results of this once uh, everything is, you know, said and done. So I'm, I'm excited for all this. And um, the other thing that I did want to mention, guys, is that I did not make my own pie crust. I did use a store-bought pie crust, but maybe down the road I'll do my own pie crust. Um, but for now, as, as I mentioned, it is a time saver. And I don't think there's anything wrong with using a pie crust from the store. So I've seen other YouTube channels, especially like Joshua Weissman, use uh, store-bought pie crust. And they also mention it, there's not a, it's not a big deal, you know, because it's not going to ruin or change your recipe whatsoever um, it's just honestly uh, a little i guess you could say step that you can skip so anyway i'm excited to do this and uh, i am looking forward to see the end the end result of all this all right guys so as you can see i have my pheasant here that's the uh, chicken pot pie and over here we have the roasted chicken so uh, they're both done right now i don't have any bottom heat on this one just one little coal but uh, we have some bottom heat on the chicken pot pie and top heat so just so you guys can just take a gander take a look at this and uh, see how we're done that's done and then the chicken pot pie as well just don't want a bunch of ash in there so I'm gonna wait until the 
wind kind of dies down, but you can see also done. Okay guys, so brought everything in and as you can see, it is looking great. Not only that, but it's smelling great. So I wish you guys could smell it. And uh, also the chicken doing great. Nothing really burnt. A little bit of that seasoning burned, but other than that, it cooked really well. Uh, very juicy, very tender. I'm very happy. The only thing that I wish is that there was a little bit more um, taste to the meat. I mean, the skin had all the flavor uh, this the meat did not have too much and as you can see my father there my sister here Enjoying the chicken and as always we, we are traditional Mexicans. We have to have the darn tortillas um, But you know, we also added some cucumber to add into the mix to give it a little bit of freshness And I just want to show you guys how well the uh, chicken cooked now I did also want to sh uh, do something with my number eight. So I decided to do a cake my uh, little girl, she kept asking me for cake for the longest time. And then my wife's like, why don't you just bake the cake? And I said, sure, I've never done a cake. This is the first time that I do it on the Dutch oven outside. And uh, it did crust really well. I almost thought that I had burned it, but it actually turned out great. So very happy with everything. And as you can see, cleaning up afterwards was a breeze. No issue whatsoever. Overall, very happy, very excited how everything turned out. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.